Have you ever wandered down an aisle at a craft fair and admired the soft shades of the hand-dyed fabrics? Then turned the corner and been amazed at the hand-painted scene on a quilt. Hello, my name is Susan Tierney Coburn and I'm a fabric artist, rubber stamp designer, and author. I would like to share with you techniques for hand dyeing and painting on fabric using Sukaneko's all-purpose inks, VersaCraft stamp pads, and Fabrico markers. The steps are simple, but you will have a broad range for creating many unique projects, from designing your own quilts, adding interest to such things as purses and pillows, to even dazzling your peers with wearable art. Let's start with hand dyeing. This first technique uses the all-purpose inks, which are water-based and non-toxic, and their versatility with fabric is ideal in creating a soft hand to your finished projects. Their fluid characteristics can be easily controlled with Sukuniko's Fantastic, and either the brush or bullet tip. I'm using the bullet tip that will cover the area quickly with color. This 100% cotton fabric has been pre-washed to remove sizing. When washing your fabric, it's recommended not to use fabric softener. And depending on what value I want to achieve, I use either white for bright colors or natural for muted shades. The fabric should be slightly damp to achieve even movement with the all-purpose ink. Dip the Fantastic into the ink carefully so you don't go past the plastic covering. Then stroke across the damp fabric and watch the ink color the fibers. I can either spritz more water on the fabric to move it into areas not covered or use my hand to agitate the fabric. If you're satisfied with the color, you can let it air dry. Or occasionally, if I'm in a hurry to start a project, I will wrap it in plastic wrap and microwave for 40 seconds. Then I can take it to the ironing board and heat set the color. It's recommended to heat set between each color application to prevent bleeding. That's how easy hand dyeing can be, but let me show you some other possibilities to spark your imagination for designing your own fabrics. Since my background involves rubber stamps, let's turn to VersaCraft stamp pads and create. VersaCraft stamp pads come in 32 colors which coordinate with the 31 colors of Fabrico markers and are perfect for fabric surfaces, whether you're using an abstract background stamp or collage stamps to create your designs. Let me add, just like the all-purpose inks, heat setting is required to set in the color so your piece is washable. When heat setting, it is recommended to place a cloth between the iron and the hand-dyed piece. Ink your rubber stamps with the VersaCraft ink pad and firmly press straight down onto the fabric. Try stamping in various directions to design your own background. In addition to stamping a design, try using the sponge daubers to add a unique look. The sponge daubers can be used on their own for a dotted or airbrush effect or sponged over stencil design on the hand dyed fabric. Another new tool by Sukaneko is the squeegee, and by using it with the VersaCraft inkers, the possibilities are endless in designing your own fabrics. Squeeze a few drops from the inker onto a flat surface, and then move the squeegee across to pick up the ink. Then simply drag the squeegee across your fabric and release your creativity. I've shown you the process on 100% cotton, but you can duplicate this technique on felted wool, silk, and canvas fabric to name a few. Now that I've shown you the ease of hand dyeing, let's move on to the hand painting on fabric. For this next technique, I use Sukuneko's all-purpose inks, VersaCraft stamp pads, and Fabrico markers to customize my fabric. This technique will individualize your projects such as quilts, both traditional and scrapbook, pillows, the very popular purse fad, and wearable art. 
Even if you don't consider yourself an artist, you can paint on fabric and achieve beautiful results using these inks. I'm going to begin on the hand dyed fabric and lightly sketch my design using the bullet tip of the Fabrico marker. Since flowers are a passion of mine, I'm going to sketch a pot of geraniums. If you don't feel comfortable sketching your own design, you can certainly use a light box to trace the design or use a heat transfer on the fabric. When I said you don't have to be an artist to create hand-painted projects, I meant it. Now that I have my outline, let's do some filling in with the all-purpose inks. I've changed to using the brush tip of the Fantastic to control the fluidity of the ink. After I'm done with this step, I will heat set with an iron as I will between all applications. Adding definition to the petals can be as easy as using a rubber stamp and the VersaCraft stamp pad. See how your painting comes alive with this simple process. Lastly, I will use the Fabrico markers to add the finishing details of my painting. Stem and vein lines, some shadows around the petals, and pot. After heat setting with the iron, this finished hand painting design is ready to be made into a purse or pillow or even the center of a beautiful quilt. Whether you're hand dyeing your own fabric or hand painting a design, let Sukaneko's all-purpose inks, VersaCraft stamp pads, and Fabrico markers become your favorite craft ink to capture your creativity. <music>